Tonight, come travel to Middle Earth, or in this case, Festival Concert Hall, to check out the Lord of the Brevs. NDSU Blue Key Honor Society is gearing up to host their annual spring show, Buys and Brevities. This year's theme is Lord of the Rings. Nine groups that range from NDSU students to alumni to someone you may have caught on The Voice this season will head on stage to perform. In between each act, a skit written and performed by Blue Key members will try to keep the crowd interacted. All of the proceeds from tickets and advertisements to this event will go to the Rape and Crisis Center here in Fargo. Those in Blue Key have spent countless hours trying to perfect the show to give students what they paid for. Coordinating for our ad sales, um, coordinating for our graphics design, our PR team, people who actually put on the show, and then also me and uh, Robbie Loft who do the emceeing, um, and not to mention all the characters that are in there as well. So. Um, there's a couple hundred hours that gets put into this show in hopes that we can raise um, a few thousand dollars for one of our local charities. If you'd like to come and watch, you can still buy tickets in the Union at the Lord of the Brevs booth or find any member of a Blue Key. Tickets are $5 and the show begins tonight at 7.30. Hillary Clinton made it official. Now Senator Marco Rubio has done the same. Clinton announced her bid in a video released on the web. Sources tell CNN the Florida Republican is set to announce his 2016 campaign plans during a speech in Miami this evening. Rubio would be the third Republican and fourth total candidate to formally declare a 2016 White House bid. He joins Texas Senator Ted Cruz and Kentucky Senator Rand Paul in the race for the GOP nomination. The verdict on Jody Arias' life has finally been decided. Arias was on trial for the brutal murder of her ex-boyfriend, Travis Alexander. She will serve natural life in prison with no chance of parole. The court case became a national spectacle when Arias took the stand for an unusually long 18 days. Alexander, the deceased, was found dead in his home in a shower with multiple stab wounds, lacerations across his throat, and a bullet wound to his head. Arias' fate was left to two different juries, but neither were able to reach a unanimous decision, so it was left up to Judge Sherry Stevens. Unless Arias wins an appeal, she will spend the rest of her life in prison. It is just not fair anymore for any pitchers in the Summit League. Krista Menke owns the Softball Pitcher of the Week award as she won it for the second week in a row and seventh time this season. Menke tossed two complete one-hitter games against SDSU this last week. The senior pitcher brought her nation-leading strikeout total to 275. Menke leads the Summit League in all major pitching categories, including wins with 23 ERA, 1.95, and strikeouts with 275. And now let's take a look at the weather, brought to you by Matt Bus. Today we'll see sunny skies with a high of 76, and into the rest of the week we'll see mostly sunny with highs in the 60s. And into the weekend, we're looking at a chance of rain, but still warm weather. This has been an SUTV News update brought to you by the NDSU Bookstore.